Hi, this is Barbie and welcome to my channel. Today I am making the first card in the Cosette card making workshop. Here is a picture of the stamp and thin cuts that come exclusively with this workshop. I'm going to be using that little round stamp, the wavy one, the same, and that little flower as well as those thin cuts where I've already cut my pieces. We're going to start with the toffee ink and I am going to etch to stress the edges of these two pieces. I did forget to bring my sponge blending tool when I packed for my trip to see my family and so I'm just using a cotton ball and I think it's working pretty good, don't you? You know, we make do with whatever we have. And so I'll go around the edges of this little tag that I cut out with the thin cuts as well. And um, then we will get on to working with that toffee butter cardstock. I'm going to use a cotton ball with it as well to edge distress the edges. I am using the light side of both the honey butter and the toffee cardstocks. All of our cardstocks are two-toned, so you get a light side and a dark side. The dark side is what we would call the true color, and then you have the lighter version. And so it's like getting two cardstocks in one. Next, I'm going to take the toffee ink and do some stamping on that piece of toffee, I mean, yeah, toffee cardstock. I'm going to do that little round circle first and then the wavy line stamp so that it looks like a canceled stamp that you get on your mailings. Now I'm going to take that little seine and place it down below in the bottom. I think this is turning out pretty cute. Let me show it to you up close. So next we're going to go ahead and take the honey butter ink and we're going to random stamp on this piece. And so I'm going to take that little round stamp off, put the flower on, and I'm going to start stamping. And you'll notice that as I do so, I'm making triangles. This helps your eye flow over the paper and make it appear as if it was a larger sheet of paper that was random stamped. And that's why we go off the edge as well, because we want it to appear that it was just a large piece that we cut our piece out of. So don't be afraid to go off the edge. So next we're going to go back to that toffee ink again and we're going to stamp a saying on that little tag. And so I'm going to use the uh, just because. In the card workshop they use the peace and comfort but I need a card that says just because. You could also use the thinking of you or something from your stash. I like to sometimes leave my greeting blank to be able to put on whatever I need it to be. And I also tend to leave my cards blank on the inside so that I can write a personal note to the person I'm sending the card to. So I'm just moving those inks and stamps out of the way and let's bring in the card base and the pieces that I have pre-cut. I really like this piece of mulberry stripe and the floral print. Now this is a side fold card so we will start adhering the pieces on that fold line in the top left hand corner and then do the honey butter below it. The reason you want to start at the fold line is if for any reason your papers are off a little bit on the cut size or if the card is too big or too small you will be able to cut down the papers or the card whichever is bigger so that everything matches up. Sorry for my phone going off. I thought I had all my alerts turned off. So now we've put that floral piece on and we'll put that last piece in that upper right hand corner, that piece of toffee that we did the hand stamping on. And then the front of the card is all ready to embellish. So I'm going to take this long skinny piece that we cut with the thin cuts and I'm going to attach it with liquid glue for two reasons. One, I can get it on that thin piece very easily, much better than with my roller adhesive. And two, because it is liquid, it will give me some leeway in case I need to move it around a little bit. And then any excess glue that is showing, I can use my rub and remove eraser to remove it. And I just trim off the excess because it's a little bit on the long side. You know, it's better to be a little long than a little short. And now I'm going to figure out where I want to put that tag and put it down first. That way it will look like it's coming out from being tied on with the bow. 
the first time I tried this, I tried putting it on afterwards and it didn't look near as nice. So just a little tip there for you. Now we're going to start with those loops and you'll notice that there's a little round kind of like, oh, I don't know, blob um, on one end. And that's where we're going to be doing the overlapping of the different loops. So I'm just going to put that first one on so that it's right there next to that hole in the tag. And then I'll grab this second loop and make sure that the little round blobs um, overlap each other. So we've got the first two loops on. You'll notice those second loops are smaller, so that's going to work out perfect when we put them on. But before we do, let's put the strings on. So I'm going to put the left hand string on first, right, putting it right up there next to that little blob. And then we'll start with the right hand string. And adhere it and make sure that it doesn't cover up your greeting. Then we'll take those other two loops and we're going to put them on again, centering them right on that little blob. Haven't figured out else what else to call it. So we're just going to call it a blob. So we'll go ahead and get them on there. I think this card is looking super cute and I had so much fun with these papers and stamps and thin cuts. And I don't know about you, but especially when I'm using um, stamped images, I love having the thin cuts because that way I'm not having to fussy cut. Now because this piece is so tiny for the center of that bow, I put the glue where I want it and then put the little piece on. And then I'm going to take one of these die cuts. They are just so awesome. They're a little thicker than our cardstock, so they're a really good quality. And just put a little dot where I want it. I hope you enjoyed this card and please look forward to seeing cards two, three, and four. And here is a better picture of the finished one. And now I'm going to show you what you get in the card making workshop. You get this exclusive stamp set. This is the only way you can get it. I would love it if you would like and subscribe to my channel. And here are different ways that you can check out my work. Have a blessed day.